Melissa Bryan, the one only and original Outlaw Psychic from Umpqua Valley Psychic and Media, the Outlaw Psychic LLC in Roseburg, Oregon. Time now is 12.23 in the afternoon. Good afternoon. So, I've got a busy day on tap for everything going on right now. Um, it's just been a busy few days here at home. I've had a lot of appearances for podcasts. My latest one is going to be after hours a.m. this evening at uh, 7 p.m., uh, Pacific time. Okay, so getting started. Um, I want to send happy birthday wishes out to a very special young man. He's in a wheelchair. Unfortunately, I can't find out a name or anything else about him. Uh, it was sent to me by Donna Volk. Thank you so much for that. Happy birthday, sweetheart. We hope you have a great, great day or had a great, great birthday. A little bit belated right now. But unfortunately, the reason I'm not able to find any information on him or get a name or anything is that hackers got into his blogspot account and wiped that chance out, so I'm not able to get any further information. Uh, if anyone can get me that, that would be great. So that way I can get a name and a location and all that and go say hi. So yeah, I'm currently looking for sponsors. Yeah, uh, for my work and because I have had a ton of requests for my work back east and also a lot of people I need to go visit a lot of ancestors I've got to go help so um, I've got to get all that stuff done and I need to get a bus for my team yeah and I found something that works not very expensive but better than nothing home on the road great thing 
If anyone knows of anybody or would like to sponsor up, please contact me and we will get things moving. Now, one other thing, very exciting. I am a new book award recipient. Yeah, you heard me right. I got an award for writing my book, Born Into Shamanism, number one Amazon Kindle bestseller list. So, yeah, you can check out my photos. I'm going to put that on my website today as well, so be on the lookout for it. My ancestors in Virginia have been reaching out for help. I was watching Ghost Nation and there is a home that one of my ancestors owned and apparently this ancestor and her relations haunt this home and so I've got to go help them out and get them to cross over. Luckily that's going to be the easy part. That's really awesome. And my numbers right now on my social medias are looking fantastic. Everything's going really well. I've got just like 300 and I believe nine more. If I'm right, let me check on that real quick. Um, 299 more. I'm sorry, 299 more to 100 to 1,000 likes on my fan page so that's really cool i haven't had a chance to add up yet how many followers across all my socials yet today so i'll get to that later um and also kate brown nanny state kate flush them down kate brown yeah you heard me right flush you down kate brown she is in some legal hot water over these um lockdowns yeah we want out of lockdown and we want out of lockdown now no more locking us down no more house arrest we are under house arrest people it's true not just us but everyone across the state is under house arrest for what we didn't even do anything what is this about is this about the election coming up in november because if it is guess what trump's gonna win Sorry, just the way it goes. Okay. Paranormal Survivor. Yeah, the most recent one. Crossing over spirit is what I do for a living, or at least part of my psychic work. And it puts those who are passed on to peace. Um, I've been there, done that. Our trailer sits on land that is a former cemetery. I know I've looked this up, so I've asked locals. The story seems to check out. So, yeah. Something grabs me around my ankles, and yes, I've had this experience. It's all listed in my book, Born into Shamanism, and Amazon Kindle, number one best-selling and award-winning book. So, I scream, holy hell, for Angel Michael. He's my buddy, and when that happens, yeah. I was, in fact, grabbed out one time. I was at my grandparents' house. I heard shuffling footsteps. The thing opened the door to my bedroom, came in, grabbed me around my ankles, tried to yank me out of bed. I screamed for Angel Michael. He says, what can I do to help? So I like, get this thing out of here, please. He goes, yes, ma'am. Grabbed it and it was gone. I still feel those icy hands on my ankles to this day. Really scary. All right, Ghost Nation, Jones Family Home. Okay, so my Auntie Pocahontas's people need help. Well, <clears throat> also a little one uh, that's one of my relations via uh, Thomas Jefferson, who was Confederate president at the time, also needs help because the railing used at that house, he fell over to his death 15 feet below he's still attached to that so I've got to go help him go over <clears throat> I'm really sad for them that's really sucky that's horrible <clears throat> gelatinous substance known as ectoplasm ectoplasm we're all made of this stuff okay this is soul human nature 
Well, anyway, that is what ecto is. Emma Riley is my cousin by marriage, and the guy that is the uh, woodworking guy that they had on, fantastic car. That was great. Really nice Model T. Awesome. The railing thing that they showed is from the White House of the Confederacy. Very cool. Very nice historic piece. Oh, looks like we got clients! Yay! Finally! Woohoo! Awesome! So, anyway, uh, pobrecito little one that my little cousin that fell over that railing, I've got to go help him out. His name is Thaddeus, Tad for short, and cutest little thing. Oh, he's so cute. And Steve G. Spirit made him slap himself. Oh my God. <laughs> Very funny. I think <clears throat> one of the spirits there may be pissed off at them. Yeah. Oh, we got clients! Yay! Woohoo! Our first clients! Yeah! Right on! We got park clients, folks! We got park clients! Right on! Okay, Ghost Hunters, Fort William H. Seward. Yeah, a lot of residual energy there. I didn't personally hear anything, but I did in the audio. Uh, the officers were showing everyone around. Great spirit capture. And very, very intelligent responses. I like that. They're trying to reach out, show everyone around. There was a great mist capture. And I think it was one of the officers, I believe. I saw, like, stripes on his, his uh, coat or shirt or whatever he was wearing. So, um, yeah, the spirits apparently love the place. I do, too. I think it's great. Okay, Ghost Nation. Behind the investigation, Dead Man's Curve. I have said it before, I've been tugged on my ankles screaming for Angel Michael is the solution to that. Believe me, I've been there, done it. So yeah, the solution is screaming out for Angel Michael. Let's see, do they have any critters in there? No, don't look like it. Okay. Um, let's see. A cemetery, yes, that will do it. You put something on land that was a cemetery, things are going to get haunted real quick. Believe me, been there, done it. million times over. <clears throat> and the house in particular, because of all those deaths, and deaths on or near the property, may very well have a portal. And that's very easy to fix. I do that as part of my work. I can help with that. Spirit blowing in my ear, been there, done that, just annoying. You can just tell them, knock it off. they got a great hot spot capture, which I believe is where the portal may very well be. And can you imagine how scared some of these trapped souls might be? Yeah, poor things. I do feel Estelle is there at the property, and I do not feel like she is the only one, so they need help with kind of getting rid of that. Yeah. Okay, so that is pretty much it for today. But, uh, basically, it's been a very busy, active, paranormal morning. <sighs> Getting a lot done. Got a lot left to do. Ghost Adventures night is tonight. Ghost Adventures, yeah. So, I'm going to be watching that. I will probably report back tomorrow. And I will be on After Hours AM podcast tonight as a guest. So, be looking for me on there. Yay, hooray. I can't wait. Ah, yeah. Cool. There we go. So, anyway, yes, I am now a award-winning author. I got a book award. You know, I didn't really think it was, I guess, real, if you will. You know, I really didn't think it was real, but true to form, I got it. So, um, you know, 
I'm just really trying, really trying my heart out, trying real hard to get things moving, get things done. And uh, things are looking good. So anyway, that's it from here. Thanks for listening. Talk to y'all soon. I'm going to have a very, very busy day today. Uh, I've got a lot to do here at home, and I hope to get it all done. Talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye. Walk straight line.